Hey guys, this is D from GameXTC and today I'm going to show you how to use Shad PS4. So if you want to know how to play your PS4 games on your PC, then you're in the right place. How do you know? Watch your tone, boy. Not this guy again. So what is Shad PS4? Shad PS4 is a free and open source emulator for the PS4. It supports Windows, Linux and Mac OS. Development of the Shad PS4 started in 2022 and it's come a long way since then. Enough about that, let's get on with it. The first thing you want to do is head over to Shad PS4's website and then click downloads. Now although the latest version is 0.9.0, there are issues reported with this version and also the previous version, whereby you cannot install PKG files. So instead of us installing the latest version, what we want to do here is change the version to 0.7.0. And as I'm running this on Windows, I want to download 0.7.0 Qt. And as usual, all our links are in the description. Now that you can see the download on my desktop using 7-zip, I want to right click and select Extract to Shad PS4. Once extracted, I then delete the zipped folder. You then open the unzip folder and then launch the application. You may or may not receive a Microsoft Verified App pop-up. If you do, select Install anyway. By doing so, this would launch Shad PS4. Once launched, you want to click File and then Install Packages PKG. You then want to go to your games directory, select your titles and then click Open. You'll then receive a Choose Directory pop-up appear on your screen. Here, you want to select Install or Queue to Selected Folder and then click OK will then start extracting your games so that they appear in the UI of the emulator. Depending on how many titles you have, this may take some time. And if you have a PKG file that is also a patch, then you will get a prompt in the middle of your installation. Here you can click yes, and then this will also install. Once the process is finished, you click OK, and you can then see the games as well as your cover art on your UI. So a few things worth noting. If you're using a PS5 controller, a PS4 controller, or an Xbox One controller, the buttons will automatically be mapped, so you don't need to change the controller configuration. The first thing we want to do here is go to Settings and then Configure. You want to navigate to Graphics, and on your graphics device, instead of it saying Auto Select, you can select the graphics card that you want. Under Display Mode, you can choose the default setting and keep it as windowed, or you can select full screen or full screen borderless. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave it on windowed. And once you're happy, you click save. Now before I show you how a game actually looks, I want you to also know that in the background whilst your emulator is running, there'll be a background task screen, just like how I'm displaying here. So if there are any errors with your emulator, you can use this screen to debug it. One of the main issues with this emulator is that you do need Vulkan 1.3. If you don't, the emulator will crash and your games won't load. Vulkan is a new generation graphics and compute API that provides high efficiency cross-vendor access to GPUs. So if you do come across an issue, feel free to drop a comment and I'll let you know where you can actually go to get this Vulkan, depending on the spec of your PC. Now let's get back to the emulator. If you do, however, want to configure your controller, you can go over to the controller icon and here you can map your buttons accordingly. Once you're happy with your setup, you click save. So let's go ahead and launch Sonic Mania. So as you can see, the game looks good and runs smooth. So guys, if you found this video useful, please feel free to like and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.